What's up guys? So recently I've been just absolutely inundated with uh, comments asking what mods I use for Minecraft. Uh, these are 1.15 uh, mods. Obviously this will change when 1.16 comes out. But yeah, I thought I'd just give you a rundown and uh, show you how they can enhance your game experience. Oh, but first I'd like to address the black bars at the top of the screen. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess we'll just get rid of those. All right, so in order to talk about mods, the first thing we have to talk about is a mod loader. Uh, back in the day, I think everyone used to use Forge. Uh, we sort of transitioned away from that starting in 1.14, and uh, now Fabric seems to be what everybody's sort of developing for, aside from like Carpet Client and those those sort of technical Minecraft uh, style mod loaders. But um, though Unity here is a vanilla server, uh, we do allow client side mods as long as they're not game breaking. Uh, we can talk a little bit later about how in some ways even simple mods like this can be uh, game breaking, but um, yeah, you'll just need fabric to get started, at least for these mods. All right, so the first mod we'll talk about is Apple Skin MC. This one is more of a cosmetic mod than anything else. Uh, you'll see when I uh, go over here to my food how uh, it flashes the saturation and it sort of gives me an indication of when I'm running low on food. Uh, it's just really handy to know like if you're either PVPing or you're just curious to see how much more saturation you have. And you see as I eat now it's reset and it's telling me what the next saturation sort of countdown is. So that's a cosmetic but pretty handy mod. So the next mod here is Durability Viewer. Now there are a lot of various ways you can tell durability just by looking at your um, tools here, if you have advanced tooltips turned on, you can see I have 14 and 39 uses left on my sword. Um, this one uh, allows you when you're holding the tool, if you see in the bottom right hand of the screen there, it, it shows me how many uses I have my pickaxe, or rather what the durability is. Um, also as you can see, it tells me what the durability on my helmet, elytra, and armor and uh, boots is, which is also very handy. So if I see that elytra number ticking down too much, right now I've only used three uh, durability on it, uh, it just gives me an indication of when I need to head over to the Enderman farm and get some more XP. The next mod we're going to talk about is Voxel Map. Uh, Voxel Map is probably the most modded looking thing that I run. Uh, on my client side. It's something I never thought I needed, but now that I have it, I really don't know how to live without it. As you see on the screen now, Voxel Map has um, basically a mini uh, Dyne Map inside of your uh, client that allows you to set waypoints, see where your last death was, and uh, view where you've been. Um, Unfortunately, uh, it's tied to your IP. So recently when we changed IPs for Unity, uh, I lost all of the world download. That's why it looked a little bit patchy there. My waypoints are still saved, but I have to go re-explore those areas for Voxel Map to register them. But uh, Voxel Map also shows up in your top right corner there. Uh, as you can see now, I can zoom in and see an even closer view of where I am in the world, or zoom out just to get uh, a different perspective. Uh, it also has options for radar, so you can see uh, hostile mobs, passive mobs, and other players that are around you, in addition to being able to show you uh, slime chunks. So it is super, super handy, and uh, I really love this mod. The next mod we're going to talk about is Mollylib, or Mallylib? Not sure how to pronounce it, but um, this is another precursory mod, sort of like Fabric. You need to have it in order to run uh, any mods from Mossadee, basically. Uh, Mossadee is a really awesome uh, mod creator. He produces Lightmatica, Schematica, uh, Mini HUD, Tweakaroo, basically any- if you've ever watched a SciCraft video, he's sort of the engine that powers uh, the SciCraft uh, client side mods. Um, Really awesome, awesome person. Uh, I actually did the channel art on his Twitch. Uh, I'm a big fan of his. Um, but yeah, so this is another sort of precursory one. It itself doesn't do anything, but it allows you to uh, run other mods. So uh, let's let's get into those. So this right here is the main uh, sort of big boy mod that I run. Uh, it has a million settings. It has a million things it can do, some of which are a little cheaty, but I, I, I stay away from those. But uh, I just set up sort of a little obstacle course here to, to demonstrate uh, the things it can do. So let's get right into Tweakaroo. So the first utility we'll talk about here is the uh, fast uh, right click and fast left click options. Um, they don't have a whole lot of utility in survival. They're more useful and creative. Um, 
And also on, on server side things, sometimes uh, it can be a little glitchy, but with the fast left click on, uh, you can you can obviously fast left click really fast. With the fast right click, you can f place blocks so fast that they um, you can do two tall stacks, even three tall stacks while running in front of you. So if you're filling a large area or are bridging across something, uh, that can come in handy. The problem is uh, often, uh, the server doesn't have time to register these blocks uh, since we run uh, a non-carpet version of the server. So when you log back in, you'll find that these are actually ghost blocks. Um, so like I said, not a whole lot of utility on an SMP server, but it is a cool option that's that's uh, built into Tweakaroo. So the next feature of Tweakaroo I'll show off is the shulker box uh, viewer. I actually have two mods installed that do this and I'll show you sort of the differences between uh, shulker box uh, tips and uh, the Tweakaroo version of it. So if I go inside my ender chest here, if you hover over a shulker box, you can see the exact contents. At the top, you're getting the view from Tweakaroo and at the bottom, you're getting it from some uh, other shulker mod I have installed. The reason I like the tweakaroo version better is if you go to a chest like this that is just my torches, I still get an expanded view of how much is in there. Uh, whereas the normal one, uh, either I have to press more keystrokes or I just get this limited view of sort of what all exactly is in there. Um, and instead of trying to figure out in my head uh, what that number is divided by 64, with tweakaroo I can just see exactly how many stacks are inside of my torch chest. So that's super handy. All right, so the next super helpful feature of Tweakaroo is a feature called Hand Restock. Um, this just puts, if you are using an item and you get low on that item in your uh, your hotbar, it automatically refills it from your inventory. This is super helpful if you're filling in a large area or even just for, or for rockets or food uh, so that you don't have to worry about when you get low of having to open your inventory mid-flight. You see right there, it just switched back and it gave me uh, more rockets in my hand. This is super useful for all sorts of different settings. Uh, one of my favorite features definitely of Tweakaroo. So the next feature uh, that I talk about uh, fairly often when I talk about Tweakaroo is the nether fog and uh, gamma override options that Tweakaroo gives you. So let's just go into the nether since it's our resident dark area and, and we'll see what it looks like without the Tweakaroo mods I use. All right, so here we are in the nether. This is what it looks like to probably the traditional player. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty dim uh, and pretty foggy. Uh, you can't tell, you can just see barely coming into view there is our, our blaze spawner. So I'll go back to the same point and just uh, turn on the gamma override and nether, uh, nether fog removal features of Tweakaroo just to give you an idea of how super useful this is. And bam, look at that. So useful, especially for when you're in the end or in the nether. Uh, with the gamma override feature and the nether fog override, you just have so much more view. Uh, it's it's really handy, and it also helps at night. So as we, we go back to our little demonstration area, you can also see how, how handy it is for just normal daylight cycles. So there's a million tweaks here on Tweakaroo. You can see as you go through here, there's just... There's a ton of options to fix client side things, to tweak options, to give you different views, different ways to improve your game experience. Uh, it one, it's one that takes a lot of customizing to sort of get how you want it, but it is super handy. Um, the last little feature of Tweaker I'll show off since I've used it uh, previously uh, in a video is free cam. So by hitting uh, a combination of keys, I won't say because I have different hotkeys, so it's not going to help you. I can go into sort of a pseudo spectator mode. This is really handy when you're building or you want to check out a mob farm or you're just trying to look around. Uh, this is probably the hackiest uh, bit of Tweakaroo, but uh, it doesn't offer you the advantage of being able to open anything or see anything that you couldn't otherwise. And also protections are still in place so that you can't really, you know, cheat and see diamond blocks or anything near you. You can see entities, but you can't see when you're underground. So it's still uh, fairly fair. So uh, I really like it and it's a super handy mod. So the last one I thought I'd mention here is the uh, the mod menu. Uh, this just offers you to uh, an opportunity at your opening screen to see what mods are loaded on your fabric client. It's not really necessary for anything, but it is handy to make sure that your, uh, your jar files are actually loading. So you might wanna pick that up if you're running, you know, more than one or two mods, just to make sure that everything's working together. 
So the last one we'll get into here is not really a mod, but it's a super powerful resource pack. Uh, it's Vanilla Tweaks, and it's fully customizable from the website. You can pick and choose exactly what you want uh, to run on your client. Uh, so Vanilla Tweaks allows me to have the Vex looking Elytra. Uh, it allows me to have that rainbow XP bar you see there. It can change gl uh, glass textures. It can make sounds uh, lessen like nether portal whooshing. Uh, it can change scaffolding to be see-through so you can see through the bottom of it. It's just, it's super powerful. So as you can see now, there are tons of options. Uh, as far as customizing uh, what you want your world to look like around you. And uh, it's definitely my number one resource for resource packs because I really like, you know, how the vanilla world looks. I, I like the traditional blocks. I don't need some Chroma Hills sort of crazy texture pack. But with Vanilla Tweaks, it's like it says, it's just slightly adjusting vanilla to cater to exactly how you want the world to look. So I, I think it's super handy and you should definitely uh, check it out. So yeah, guys, I think that wraps it up. Uh, as you can see here, once again, get a beautiful view of night with Gamma Override, and it makes it a little more playable since you can actually see. Um, but yeah, I think that wraps it up. I'll leave links in the description for uh, all of the mods that I run, and uh, I hope you found this either entertaining or useful, and uh, I'll check you guys later. Bye!